disbelievers continued to torture the Prophet and his followers wherever they went, but the Prophet kept preaching to the people and he gained more and more followers. The most notable event that happened during that time was the conversion of Umar ibn Khattab. May Allah be pleased with him. He was one of the most rabid enemies of Islam and of the Prophet. He was a tormentor of the Muslims and everyone feared him. It is said that one day, in sheer anger, Umar resolved to kill the Prophet, and he left his home with this intention. As he approached the house of the Prophet, he was stopped by a man. When the man learnt what Umar was up to, he told him, Your sister and her husband have embraced Islam too. Why don't you go back to your house and set it straight? Umar was furious to hear that his sister and her husband had become Muslims. He immediately changed his direction and set out to his sister's house. As he approached the house, he could hear the sound of Quran being recited. Umar walked toward the house and knocked at the door. When the sister and her husband heard the knock at their door, they hurried to hide the books. Umar entered the house and demanded to know what was the humming sound he heard. Umar's sister replied that it was the sound of them talking to each other. But Umar knew the sound of Quran. So he asked them angrily, Have you become Muslims? Yes, we have, answered the sister's husband. Umar was so angry that he struck him. And when his sister tried to defend her husband, he hit her face too. Blood started drooling from her face by now. Umar's sister stood up and faced her angry brother, saying, You enemy of God, you have hit me just because I believe in God. Whether you like it or not, I testify that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is his slave and messenger. Do whatever you will. Umar saw the blood running down his sister's face. Her words echoed in his ears. He demanded that the words of Quran he had heard as he approached the house be recited to him. When his sister recited the words from Quran, his eyes were filled with hot tears. Is this what we are up against? He cried. The one who has spoken these words needs to be worshipped. Umar left his sister's house and rushed to the Prophet. Those with the Prophet were afraid of Umar, so they tried to stop him. The Prophet asked him, Why did you come here, son of Qatab? Umar faced the Prophet with humility and joy and said, O oh, Messenger of God, I have come for no reason except to say I believe in God and His Messenger. The Prophet was overcome with joy and cried out that God was great. Umar's conversion had a miraculous effect on the people of Mecca. More and more people now followed the Prophet.